Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Vivs from Slider here. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate a very simple example of handlers in Android. Now, in the next video, I'll be talking about our download images app where we're gonna download certain images. We're gonna display a progress bar while the images are getting downloaded using handlers. But in this video, to keep things very simple because beginners find handlers pretty confusing, I will keep a very simple example which won't deal with that app. So here, what I have is my main activity. There's an on create and everything else looks pretty much the same. And of course, notice one more thing here. There's a class called MyThread that implements a runnable interface. There is this method public void run inside which I have not written any code. You go to the activity underscore main.xml. You go to the graphical layout. What you have is actually a progress bar, which is a determinate progress bar. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to make the indeterminate false here. So this determinate progress bar is going to have minimum value of zero and a maximum value of say 10,000, something like that. So here in the main activity, and I'm going to create my thread first by saying my thread. I should actually say thread here, thread, thread. So just import the class. Actually, it's imported by default. So thread equals to new thread. Now inside this, I want to pass an object that implements the runnable interface. Now that is going to be our my thread. So just pass that over here. Since my thread implements runnable, we can pass an object of my thread over here, and that takes care of creating our thread. Then I'm going to say thread dot start. Of course, that is going to start our thread, making all the code inside the run method run in the background so inside the run method what am i gonna have nothing great just a simple for loop that's gonna loop from i equals to zero to i less than ten thousand or i plus plus to go back here to the activity underscore main yeah the maximum value is ten thousand so i'll loop from zero to ten thousand now each time i is incremented what i want to do is tell the main thread over here that is my activity to update the progress bar now remember the code inside this method public void run runs in a separate thread say thread 2 but the code here runs on the main thread so I want to communicate from here about the current value so that I can update the progress bar here to set the proper value so how will I do that now that's exactly what handlers are for so take a handler object here now remember since you created the reference over here, which you're going to initialize down here by saying handler equals to new handler. Now, what you want to do is something very important. But first, before we do it, let me talk about this. The handler object has been created inside main activity. So now it is stuck with the message Q of the main thread. You can use that object here by saying handler dot send message now this is the point where I'm gonna send a message so what is this message object that I need very simple I go inside the run method I say message message equals to message dot obtain it's a static method by saying message dot obtain over here just some empty reference and I pass that object over here now you guys are probably like okay what is this I can send data I can send extra arguments like you can say message dot and as you can see there are arguments one two there's something called get data over here you can set data a bundle can go inside and there are some other utilities like that but for now I just want to keep things very simple so there's nothing but a blank empty message and I'm just sending it from our handler so where is this gonna be received this is gonna be received on our main thread over here right inside the handler object what I'm gonna do is override this method called handle message so in other words this is the sender and this is also the receiver or I should say the handler of incoming messages that's why it's called a handler so you go here you remove the super stuff you have and inside this handle message the code is gonna run on the main thread so this is where I update the progress bar so first I need to get a reference to our progress bar so let me do that by saying progress bar over here so inside our handle message over here what I'm simply gonna do now is set the progress bars value by saying progress bar dot set progress now of course I would need the value of the progress that I want to set right and that's exactly why we have arguments because here we first need to set an argument by saying message dot 
arg1 so here I can say message or argument 1 equals to I just set the value equals to I over here and here what I can do is by saying message or get argument I can say message msg that is the object dot argument 1 in other words I had an argument 1 I set its value to I which is be 0 then it's gonna be 1 then it's 2 3 each time the message is sent it's gonna be received here that our same object is received here you get 0 1 2 3 out of that and that's what the progress is by saying progress bar dot set progress so this is the very simple app so let's run this and try to figure out what happens well to make sure the app doesn't crash I have reduced the number to 100 from 10,000 because for every iteration the handler is gonna send a message now if there are 10,000 messages your app is probably gonna crash the same way I have the max attribute set to 100 here to match with the value over here now I simply say handler dot send message and for every iteration I have a new message object by saying message messages message dot obtain that's being called from a reusable set of objects now what I want to do is once I send the message I also want to put this thread to kind of sleep for some time so I'm gonna say thread and I'm gonna give a timing like 100 over here now, of course this generates an exception so press control once around with try catch and things look pretty good so everything else looks the same there's thread there's handler there's progress bar and what you have is the progress bars reference here the thread has been initialized using the my thread which is an implementation of runnable interface I start the thread I have the handler object created the handle message will be called when a message arrives from my thread so here I simply set the progress bar to message.arg1 which is nothing great I just obtained the object I put one argument as the value of i which is 0 or 1 or 2 and so on I simply send that message that's gonna be received here things are processed and of course the thread goes to sleep so let's just run this and take a look at how that goes so there's your handler as you can see the messages are being continuously sent from my thread to main thread and there they are being updated with the progress bars current value so this is how you can use handlers to communicate from a background thread to a main thread now this was of course a simple example in the next video I'm gonna dig into those images stuff that we've been doing with normal threads and we're gonna try and see how we can work them out with handlers in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.